The construction of the pumping station in Melbourne sewerage scheme was the largest public infrastructure project undertaken in Victoria during the 19th century. Well, there'd been many attempts to try and introduce a proper sewerage system into Melbourne. It really followed on from the great uh, infrastructure projects in places like London in the, the mid-19th century. And it was pretty soon realised that Melbourne needed its own sewerage system. Construction on the pumping station site commenced in March of 1894 and the buildings themselves were completed by the latter part of 1896 and the pumping station officially came online in, in February of 1898. Spotswood was chosen as the location for the pumping station because it's close to the mouth of the Arrow River. Melbourne's built on a large wide open basin and so naturally the easiest way to design a sewage system was to have most of the sewers gravitating to the mouth of the river. The construction of the Melbourne sewage scheme and the pumping station played a key role in Melbourne's economy during the 1890s at a time when there was a, a lot of unemployment. Uh, thousands of workers were employed actually building the sewers and the pumping station and hundreds more worked in the factories that supplied a lot of the bricks, the cement and also the iron pipes and machinery and so on that um, were used in the construction. The original engines for the pumping station were built by Thompsons of Castlemaine and that probably didn't work out so well because the first Thompson's engines were not, not that great. They were of a design that hadn't been used previously in Australia and although this was a very experienced engineering company, um, it was largely an untried design for Australian conditions. In the end, the board managed to order one steam engine from Haythorne Davy of Leeds in England and it uh, proved to be the most successful of the, early, the earliest engines installed in the pumping station. So it was subsequently copied for further engines by a local manufacturing company. After the First World War, when additional pumping capacity was required, the board sought tenders for electric pumping machinery and installed the first generation of electric pumps. By operating the pumps with electricity, they could substantially reduce their running costs here at the, the pumping station itself. By 1925, they had a total of five electric pumps installed at Spotswood. That was sufficient capacity to handle most of the average daily flows. The pumping station finally closed in the mid-1960s, largely because of the age and poor condition of the rising main pipes between Spotswood and Brookland. The board elected to build a new pumping station at Brookland and phase out operation of Spotswood pumping station. The pumping station provides an extraordinary insight into Melbourne's early history. Not only was it a vehicle for improving the sanitation and public health of the city, but it was also an amazing engineering milestone. Spotswood Pumping Station is an icon of Melbourne. It's Melbourne's first real attempt at an integrated sewage system which really made life in Melbourne both bearable and healthy and uh, it's one of the, um, the real undiscovered treasures of Melbourne that um, people are quite amazed when they come and discover for themselves. Mm -hmm.